Imagine going to work and having men expose themselves and masturbate right in front of you, wanting you to see it. How often? Five or six times a day. Every day. Nurses and counselors who worked at this Charlotte County prison say inmates treated them like their peep show. It felt demeaning. The inmate got up in the window and did his duty. Masturbating in front of staff in prison slang is called gunning. Is it directed at you? Sometimes, yeah. These women, too embarrassed to reveal their identities, say it wasn't the inmates' behavior that was most shocking. It's not about being surprised about the inmates' behavior. It's about being surprised about the reaction from the Department of Corrections. It's their behavior that's shocking. It's their behavior that's negligent. If that's your mother or your sister, I mean, would that be acceptable? The women joined over 100 current and former employees across the state to sue the Department of Corrections in 2009. DOC settled in 2010, paying out more than a million dollars. I didn't sign up for the lawsuit just to get a few dollars. Like, I signed up for the lawsuit because I was victimized. Do you feel like it was just hush money? Definitely. Shut up and go away. We took those concerns straight to Tallahassee. What have you been doing to make sure this kind of thing isn't happening in the Department of Corrections anymore? Well, first of all, these are 10-year-old lawsuits. Secretary Julie Jones has been at the helm of the agency since 2015. What we've been doing since is we monitor this situation very closely. We take it very seriously. Are there things that corrections staff can do to protect people that have to work in the prisons? Everyone that works in a prison is trained on, on how, to, how to deal with this particular situation. And we warn our staff if you, we have uh, someone that has a proclivity for this activity. And we have shields that they can work behind. The newest training documents for DOC also have information about how to punish inmates for gunning. But there are no memos or policies that talk about preventing it. They keep sweeping it under the rug, saying, well, what can we do? Forensic psychologist Scott Johnson teaches law enforcement about sex offenders and has spent time working in prisons. For some, they're going to continue to escalate and push boundaries as far as they can. And realizing that they're already serving prison times, they may not care if they have additional time added on. And a 2010 law actually allows extra time to be added to prison sentences for gunning, but... Court records show no one in Charlotte County has even been charged with it in the past five years. That doesn't mean the problem stopped. The DOC wrote dozens of discipline reports for gunning last year. I would tell the secretary that there's a culture of acceptance that, that runs deep in the Department of Corrections. Jones says it's happening far less frequently under her command, but these former employees question if it will ever be taken seriously. We would implore her to, to change the tide, to change the culture.